hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome i thank you um if you're new to my channel please subscribe my name is winnie um i usually do tutorials on hair how i do my hair um but today i wanted to do something a little bit different because i'm still waiting for my hair to get a little bit older before i can change it it's really expensive changing your hair every week so i figure i won't do that this time so i'll just let this get a little bit older for another couple of weeks so I figure while you're waiting for me to do another hair tutorial I will show you my perfume collection This is, I am not bragging about how much perfume I own. I just love collecting perfumes and I actually have more than the perfumes that I'm going to be showing you in this video, um, but I've given some of them away because let's face it, why keep all of that on your shelf? It's going to go bad anyway. So I'm just going to show you the few that I have right now. And um, I will recommend some perfumes if you would like to know some perfumes. I do love perfume. I am obsessed with collecting perfumes. Um, so yeah, let me stop rambling. Let's get to this video. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first perfume, and I am not doing this in any order whatsoever. I'm just going to show you, you know, just random, not by brand or anything. So you know what? I'm going to start with the, the body mist. So this is one of my favorite. It's the Japanese um, Cherry Blossom. Oh my God, this smells so good. This has been out for a very long time. And this is like my third bottle. I always have this, like I don't wear it out often. I only use it like when I'm home. Like, you know, when you take a shower, you like just pss, 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 and you smell good, you're home, you know, whatever. I love that that body mist and then I have this excuse me I don't know what what I did with the top this is a um, warm vanilla sugar it's so good like I don't know the ingredients to any of this perfume I'm sorry I'm not that smart like I didn't think to look them up because it's a lot of perfume but this smells like this like vanilla and sugar it's like when vanilla and sugar mix together and they make a baby this is what you get <laughs> it's so good like I love the smell to tell you how much I love the smell this is from Bath and Body Works and also this of course it's also from Bath and Body Works um, to tell you how much I love this body mist I got the perfume because usually the the perfume lasts longer than the body mist so I have this this is almost done and as you can see the perfume is pretty much done I don't really have much left in there but yeah I love that so that's this too and then I also have um, the cashmere glow I actually bought this because I love the way the the, the shower gel smells like the shower the shower gel smells so good like oh my god you have no idea and this one it's good too, but I don't wear it often. That's why it's still a little bit full. But the shower gel, I've used a couple of the shower gel. And they're all gone now. So moving on to another Bath and Body work. I have the Pink Chiffon. This is like cotton candy in a bottle. It smells like literally like cotton candy in a bottle. Sweet, sugary. That's all for Bath and Body Work. I have this. This used to. This is one of my favorite from uh, Victoria's Secret. It's a sexy little thing, Noir. Oh, this smells so good. Sometimes I like I spritz this on my hair and the bomb.com. So that's it for body spray. Going to perfumes. Well, let me start. So when you, if you live in New York, you know that you know you know all those people that sell oil. This oil is like it lasts so long and this is only oh, it's so strong it's so strong but it lasts a long time that's why you only apply a little bit this is um this is unforgivable woman by um sean john 
I have the oil and I also have the perfume and guys they don't really make this perfume anymore I believe you can only find it online maybe I think I found mine online um, but they don't carry it anymore in store when this came out it was like the best thing that Chan John ever made in my opinion created um, this is so good this is like a good summer perfume and my perfumes I don't go by season I just wear whatever I want to wear whenever I feel like I should be wearing that perfume so yeah and another perfume so this perfume is my all-time favorite perfume this is probably my third bottle and I usually get the bigger size because I love j'adore <laughs> should I say you don't know perfume till you've had j'adore no, just kidding. All right, but this perfume is like, it's classic. Like, you know, like when you wear this perfume, you feel like a rich person. Like you walk in the room and you feel like you own the room, you know? That's how I feel whenever I wear this perfume. Like it's so good. You know what? Like you guys have no idea. <laughs> I guess now my breath is gonna smell rich. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that perfume, if you're looking for a perfume to get and you're not sure, I will recommend you getting that perfume, okay? So the next perfume that I'm going to show you is this perfume I wore almost every single day last summer. Um, this is Henna More. A lot of people don't know about this perfume and not a lot of places sell this perfume. You can only find this perfume at... Um, What's the name of that store? Uh, ah, what is it? What is it? What is it? Bloomingdale's. <laughs> you can only find this perfume in Bloomingdale's. And I don't even know if they still have it. This is to tell you how good this perfume is. Usually when I, when I wear it, people are always like, oh my God, what is that that you have on? Hannah Mori. This is like one of my favorite perfume and yeah, as the bottle tells you, you know, it speaks for itself. So also this perfume I got from Zara. This is really good. This is um, powdery Magnola, Magnola. Anyway, um, not a good, I'm not really good at pronunciation. Um, this perfume is really good. It smells like, I don't know if you guys ever wore clove perfume this smells like one of the clo perfume collection it's like it's like a zara brand of clo this is really good too and you can wear any of this perfume any time of the year it doesn't have to be a particular season and then i have bulgari bulgari too actually this is done the good thing about this perfume is it smells really good but it doesn't last too long on you. Like when I wear it, I feel like after an hour or two, I don't even smell it anymore. So that's why like I always carry it in my bag and I keep spritzing every single time. Because it's not a perfume that lasts long on you. So, But it smells really good and this is a small bottle. I think I got this for either my birthday, it comes in a set. I think I got this for my birthday or for Christmas last year. But it's gone so that means it's a great perfume. And of course, Chanel, you cannot beat Chanel, you guys. Like, you have to save money and get one of the Chanel brands. Like, I have a few of the Chanel perfume. So this is a pink one, um, Chanel Chance. This is a pink one. I'm not sure what the name is, if you can see it. And then this is actually one of my favorite Chanel, the green, the green Chanel. Oh my God, this is so good. You wear this in the winter, in the spring in the full Chanel Chance, the green bottle, and this is the biggest um, bottle for the Chanel Chance. Yes, I did get this for Christmas, um, but yeah, I try to save it so I don't use much of it. This literally smells like green apple. It smells like a good green apple, like when you bite into a good apple and you're like, damn, you so delicious. <laughs> That's how this smells like it's so good. I I really like this perfume. Speaking about Chanel, I have of course the classic Chanel Mademoiselle, Coco Mademoiselle. 
um this perfume too also bomb.com this perfume you should always have in your collection always always you should always have a chanel perfume one chanel brand in your collection and of course your door so moving on i have versace crystal this is this was my favorite when i first got it i use this a lot this was also a set with the lotion and something else that it came with i love the packaging of this perfume this is like very sweet it's like it's like if crystal like crystals if it has a smell that's what this is like just think of crystal you just feel like that's the smell this is bright crystal by Versace um, also um, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker has this perfume called lover there was the first year when I found this perfume I wore it in the winter and I have and I bought the oil Oh my goodness let me tell you this perfume lasts on your clothing for a long time I think I put the oil on my jacket and I will go about my day and every day when I wear that jacket people will ask me oh my god what do you have on it smells so good like this perfume the oil is like the bomb.com and if you want to know where to get the oils if you live in New York I believe it's on 104th Street on Lexington Avenue I'm not really sure about the address but it's I know it's a six train to like a hundred and second street or 104th i don't remember but it's around that area it's a big like perfume shop um oil shop yeah you can get the perfume like those bottles are like five dollars for the roll-on and it's a refill it's like three dollars and it lasts a long time and mind you that perfume is heavy so it's you only need just a little bit and of course going to my juicy this is brand new you guys uh, because i've used a smaller bottle and it's empty and i just bought this one because i cannot afford not to have this perfume in my collection yeah i don't really know much to say, what to say about this perfume this perfume is the shit like it's just good just go ahead and buy it it's good and this you can get this perfume actually anywhere you can get it at tj maxx um marshall's macy's anywhere sephora it's a really good perfume so you do every girl needs a little bit of zest in their collection so yes you get that so this perfume i have my favorite summer perfume yes i did say that i don't have particular perfume to wear in the summer but if i had to pick one perfume that i can wear every single summer will be michael kors original the original michael kors and excuse the the thing on the top so with michael kors i've used the original i've used the gold and i've used the rose gold <coughs> my two favorite for michael kors would be the original and michael kors gold this perfume let me tell you guys it smells like bubble gum like bubble gum to the highest level it's so yummy for the summer i think the first time i smelled this perfume i was in a in a nightclub in new york city and this girl has it on and i was like oh my god you smell so sweet and she's like girl i got the michael kors and she brought it out with like the smaller bottle and i sprayed it and let me tell you i was getting hit on the whole night but that's another story <laughs> So I went ahead and I bought the big bottle. As you can see, it's almost gone. But this perfume is very strong, you guys. I won't put it on your skin because sometimes when I put it on my skin, I do get a light headache. I don't know why, but it's so good that I, I don't care if it's on my skin. As long as it's on my clothing, that's perfect. Like, summer must-have perfume. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. It's really good and um another perfume that i have is the hummus uh i really don't know what the name is but this is hummus perfume this perfume is expensive yes it is expensive well all the perfumes are expensive but this one in particular it's a little bit pricey um this is a smaller bottle but this smells like like vanilla with honey mixed together vanilla honey and sugar mixed together it's a little it's sweet but it has like a old like a old rich smell i don't know if you guys understand excuse me 
if you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it does have like that vanilla sugary smell and this you don't really need a lot of it. Just spray it like a little bit on the back of your ears, your hand and you're good because this perfume is really strong and it, this perfume will last you all day and they have different brands of this perfume. And I believe you can find it at Sephora. I'm not sure if Macy's carries it, but you can definitely find it at Sephora. It's a little bit expensive, but it's a good perfume. This is my second bottle. I don't use it that often because it all depends on where you're going, you know. Like I said, it's like it smells like an old rich lady, but in a good way. And uh, yeah, going back to another brand. This is Calvin Klein. And this is one of my favorite Calvin Klein perfume, Euphoria. So that's what the bottle looks like. This is, a, I think, a medium-sized bottle. They do have a bigger one. So yeah, this is what this looks like. This smells like, ah, oh, this smells like peace, like somewhere calm. Like, oh my God, I can't, I cannot explain what this smells like. It smells so good like you need it I think that when I went to Macy's to get this I was like recommending this for some guy that was buying perfume for his wife and she wanted a Calvin Klein perfume this perfume is really good I say that about all my perfume because honestly I believe all my perfumes are really good I don't know what you think but I believe they're really good and I do have actually going back to oils I have the um, Gucci Guilty oil and again that's almost done that's that's a good perfume i've had the perfume and it's done and i feel like the perfume goes by so quickly and with the oil the oil lasts a long time so i always get the oil of perfumes that i really really like so that's gucci guilty that's the oil and there's this perfume that no one has really has ever talked about i've never seen anyone talk about this perfume yes the perfume is done but i have the oil this is Hypnos, and Hypnos, guys, let me tell you, <laughs> um, no one really talks about this perfume, but it's a good perfume. I don't, I don't pick perfume for any of the seasons, but if I had to pick, just like I picked the Michael Kors for summer, I would pick this for winter. This perfume, oh my God, do you justice any day, any day of the week, like you get what you paid for when you buy Hypnose perfume. I feel like I should be a salesperson, shouldn't I? I think it would be really good being a, a salesperson. And then I have um, all those like little, little perfume samples. I do collect a lot of perfume samples. And there are some perfumes that I've used that are not there that I don't have here. But thank you guys for watching. I feel like this video is getting too long. So um, this would be it. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, as usual, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up and give it a like down below. And give comment every all your questions down below, okay? See you in my next video, guys. Peace out.